can we do the this topic is uh, related to the genetics as well as biotechnology in this topic we will learn how we will make the link between genetics and biotechnology if students will understand genetics properly then they can understand in a good manner in biotechnology so how we can make link between genetics and biotechnology with best effort i want to deliver the topic regarding discovery of the gene as well as the genetic transformation now i am going to present the paper Yes, a screen is visible, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is visible. Yes, sir. Just open the file, sir. So you have clicked on stop sharing. Yes, now visible. Yes, sir. It is. Yes, sir. But your screen is not visible to me, sir. Just open the PowerPoint presentation, sir, at the bottom of your yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Just click that, sir. Okay. Yes. And click on this hide button, sir. H I D E hide. Just click on that hide. Yes. 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 Now it's okay, sir. Continue, sir. I am extremely sorry for technical problem. now without delay we can start the topic discovery of gene and genetic transformation the correlation between gene chromosome nucleus cell is the head quarter where different ministry already handle the work that is a nucleus chromosome dna and their association in this way when one will be separate from another then whole metabolic activities will be completely stop so each and every component is mutually associated to each other discovery of gene search of gene Griffith's experiment is pioneer work in terms of discovery of the gene. This is called as transforming principle. Genetic transformation is totally different. Transforming principle is totally different. In terms of Griffith's, when transfer of chemical from one strain of the bacteria to another strain of the bacteria. then this concept is called as transforming principle now i am going to discuss details of the griffith experiment because this is the pioneer work without their discussion we are not in position to elaborate discovery of the gene griffith experiments in 1928 first demonstrated that genetic information could be transferred without knowing what this information was he called it the transforming principle it was the first step towards providing that nucleic acids and not the proteins are the chemical basis of experiment the details he was studying pathogenicity of different strains of the bacteria and that is most common bacteria diplococcus pneumoniae 
He studied the effect of two different strains of bacteria. R2 type irregular rough colonies devoid of mucilaginous sheath and in your conclusions we can say this strain of bacteria non virulent non virulent means it is not responsible for pneumonia disease s third type form that is the smooth colonies having mucilaginous sheath and this one is virulent and this is responsible for pneumonia disease this experiments conducted by griffiths and the animal that was used in the experiment was mice experiments completed under four steps in first step or second type injected in mice mice survived that means that strain was non virulent and not cause pneumonia disease as third type that is a smooth injected into the mice and mice died that means pneumonia disease appear in the mice that's why mice killed third step heat killed as type virulent a strain of diplococcus pneumonia heat killed after that injected into mice and found mice once more survived heat killed the s type and r2 type mixed together and injected in mice and mice once more died heat killed s type in dead strain dead strain form when injected into the mice then mice totally survived we can say mice enjoyed mice enjoyed but once more heat killed s yes, type that was killed strain mixed with the r2 type that was the non virulent strain and together injected into the mice mice once more died the fourth experiment is full of secret of discovery of the gene pictorial view of previous experiment living virulent strain injected into mice mice dies living a virulent strain mouse enjoy once more next one heat killed virulent strain mouse lives together when mixed once more mouse dies this is the griffith experiment detail once more and pathogenicity of the bacteria has been checked under different stages blood sample from dead mouse contains live virulent yeast strain this is the conclusion pathogenicity has been already proved blood sample from dead mouse contains some chemicals that chemicals must be transfer into the of virulent strain just like this yes strain heat killed or strain and that chemical must be transfer into the non virulent strain and pneumonia disease appear in the mice and mice dies these are the different steps of the experiments when we show students in this way in pictorial form then they can understand properly what was the finding of the griffith in the form of hypothesis he explained material in dead bacterial strains can genetically transform living bacterial cells observation and conclusion fourth part of the experiment was a great survive for the when griffiths who injecting a mixture of heat killed virulent bacteria which could not cause pneumonia and living a virulent bacteria which also could not cause pneumonia he found that the injected mice would cause pneumonia 
and die. Second, when he isolated bacteria from the blood of the dead mouse, he found living virulent bacteria. Griffiths interpreted this to indicate that one substance had been transferred from the dead bacteria to the living or virulent strain. And he used the term transforming. That means a virulent strain become virulent strain under this process and th this is called as transforming principle. He concluded R2 type bacteria had been transformed into S3 type and that is transformation. My friends, learned teachers, you are teaching this topic in 12th standard. I have already taken one reference from Srimad Bhagavad Gita. The gene transfer just like the soul. When body left the soul and enter into the new body, that means soul is immortal. Lord Krishna explained regarding the soul. Similarly, Griffith's pioneer work very similar to the gene. In 1928, regarding the gene, whatever explanation given by the Griffiths, our rich heritage, rich culture of the Vedas already explain these all things. I want to quote in Bhagavad Gita chapter 2 verses 22 it is said, Vasan Sijirnani Jatha Vihaya Navani Grihnati Naro Parani Tatha Sarirani Vihaya Jirnanyani Sanjati Navani Dehi As a person puts on new garments, giving up old ones, the soul accepts new material bodies, giving up the old and useless ones. My friends, यदि मैं इसे हिंदी में ट्रांसलेट करना चाहूं तो मैं ये कहूंगा कि जिस तरह से हमारी बॉडी जीर्ण और सृर्ण जब हो जाती है ओल्ड स्टेज में पहुंच जाती है तो हमारी बॉडी से सोल निकल जाती है और न्यू बॉडी में इन अंदर जाती है ठीक उसी प्रकार से जिस प्रकार से हम ओल्ड क्लोथ्स को छोड़ देते हैं और न्यू क्लोथ्स को हम ग्रहण करते हैं बिल्कुल उसी टाइप से डेड स्ट्रेन में यदि वो केमिकल है तो लाइव स्ट्रेन में ट्रांसफर हो गई है इसका मतलब है देयर इज नो डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ दैट केमिकल आनी उसकी डेथ नहीं होती है उसकी बर्निंग नहीं होती है इसके लिए मैं सेकंड श्लोक फिर गीता से लेना चाहूंगा नैनं छिंदन्ति शस्त्राणि नैनं तहति पावकः न चैनं क्लेद अंत्यापो न शोष्यति मारुतः विपन्स कांकट फायर कैन नॉट बर्न Water cannot wait, wind cannot dry, this Atma and soul. I, I think uh, Griffith having idea regarding this philosophy or not, we cannot confine this philosophy and we cannot discuss in terms of Griffith experiment, but our rich heritage is already guiding all these things. That means scientific temperament is already hidden in our Vedas, in our Gitas that we have to inculcate among the students and we can discuss these all things. Just like heat killed a strain, whatever the residues remain in the form of the chemical, that chemicals when coming to contact with the virulent live strain, then that chemicals already automatically enter into the live strain and virulent strain once become virulent. So in this way, transformation of soul takes place from old body to new body. Similarly, transformation of gene takes place from dead strain to live strain. I have already discussed this thing and compare. I think, is it clear? Am I audible? Yes sir yes, yes sir. sir. yes sir. Yes. Pandey sir, you are audible. Yes. Thank you, sir. Now, further verification of this chemical. We know there are so many drawbacks in Griffith experiment because it was the pioneer work, 
and genetics is so many complicated thing and griffiths was pioneer person and he was too much courageous person he did some work in the field of genetics that's why we are in position to go ahead what was the drawback we have to discuss among the student the transforming chemical chemistry had been not clarified by the griffiths that was the drawback otherwise he become father of the discovery of the gene but only pioneer work done by him set of three scientists in 1944 revised griffith experiment in terms of his study of the biochemistry of the transforming chemical and this experiment every macleod and mccarty revised this experiment in 1944 several time in board examination asked these questions what was the drawbacks and who were removed this drawback and how these drawbacks removed regarding that it is based on transformation every macleod mccarty simply study the chemical substances not change the experimental setup of the griffiths it is based on transformation once more cell free extract of yes thread is third strand bacterium was subjected to dnas rnas and protease what about the heat killed strain bacteria their chemical has been passes through these three enzyme because there is possibility of chemical that is undergoes transformation either protein rna or dna these three chemicals always doubtful which one is behaves like gene each treated extract was mixed with r2 and mixture injected to mice to see transformation just like the griffith expert in case of protease and rna transformation was recorded because protease enzyme digested protein rna enzymes digested rna and only viable chemicals remain that was the dna and that dna transfer in case of dna is no transformation was recorded but when dna enzymes added in that strand there was no report of pneumonia disease in mice and mice once more enjoy in 1944 revealed that every adult chemical nature of the transforming substance to be dna with the help of experiment this so that dna isolated from yes third strand bacteria could confer the pathogenic properties to r2 strand bacteria so final conclusion active factor is dna which can cause transformation yes third strand contains the active factor and that was nothing that was the dna this is the finding in this way the credit for discovery of gene goes to every macleod and mccarty so when in this way discuss among the students then they will learn pioneer worker work done by griffiths but credit for discovery of gene goes to every macleod and mccarty the term gene was given by johansson in biology one wonder whosoever discover it is not necessary give their name might be father but turn coined by another scientist so johansson used the term first time gene the experimental detail of every macleod mccarty in this way s type carbohydrates destroyed s type lipids destroyed s type proteins destroyed s type rna destroyed s type dna destroyed and in this way finally every macleod and mccarty in position to discover gene and there is further rectification required for verification of the gene dna is universal genetic material or some other materials too Severo Okoya in 1959 discovered RNA's gene. Now, in 1952, transduction experiment conducted by Alfred Hersey 
and Martha Chase. Because this experiment is already related, previous experiment only related with the mice and Diplococcus pneumoniae bacteria. And on the basis of that experiment, DNA is the genetic material. But DNA is the universal genetic material. There is further required rectification. So in 1952, Hersey and Cheese did this experiment and find the genetic material in organisms. Their experiments lead to an unequivocal, unequivocal proof to DNA as a genetic material. Regarding that, bacteriophage with E. coli bacteria infection done, both whatever the chemicals present in the bacteriophage virus, that is the capsid protein contains phosphorus, that's why that phosphorus level. Uh, sorry, in DNA contains phosphorus, that phosphorus level, and in protein coat, that is the sulfur, and that is level. One by one, in different stages in NCRT explanation, explain infection, blending, and centrifugation. One batch of false was labeled with P32, which is incorporated into the DNA. Another batch of false was labeled with S35 which is incorporated into the bacteria, we are infected with the FAS. The researchers were looking to identify if the viral DNA or viral protein entered the host cell. The culture were blended and centrifuged to separate the FAS from the bacteria. The centrifuge separated the lighter FAS particles from the heavier bacterial cells. In this experiment, we have seen only two chemicals in the virus protein and DNA. In previous experiment, three chemicals, more chemicals. So here, very limitation, either protein behaves like gene or either DNA behaves like gene. But finally, it has been proved. Testing proteins done in experiment one and found that proteins not enter into the E. coli bacteria. And experiment two, testing DNA, in this case, there is no confusion. Entry of DNA automatically takes place in the bacterial cell and in culture medium it has been found. So this is complete concept now regarding discovery of the gene and verification of the gene. So on the basis of these two experiments, we can clarified among the student, my student, DNA is the actual genetic material. In 12th standard, we have to also discuss DNA is the genetic material, but RNA sometimes also behaves like genetic material in restricted organisms, especially in, comes of, in, in case of certain viruses, and that viruses is called the ribovirus. We have to discuss DNA versus RNA, because always ask question, DNA is universal and a stable genetic material, but RNA is unstable. But one question always arises in terms of evolutionary line: first RNA coming to existence or DNA? Obviously, RNA. Why? Because RNA having the single stranded structure and open functional group that is OH. So action of mutagens very fast in RNA, that's why question mark on their stability. Number one, regarding the unstability. Number two, RNA behaves like one enzyme as per need and that enzyme is called as ribozyme. But DNA is double stranded, there is no open functional group. So mutagens actions very less. So on the basis of these relevant points, we can discuss DNA is the stable and universal genetic material. Now, application of genes in biotechnology and that is genetic transformation. That is the second part of the topic. Now, one slide I have already presented before you, that is uh, tomato. My friends, 
GMO is already written here. Anybody can say what do you mean by GMO? Genetically modified organisms. Genetically modified organisms. One of the result of the genetic transformation. Wonderful result of the genetic mo transformation. And that type of the genetically modified organisms are called as transgenic okay. organisms, either yeah. transgenic plants oh. or transgenic oh. animals. Genetic transformation is very vast topic. I have already concentrated this topic on particular point and that topic is also related to my PhD research. I have published many research papers in terms of that genetic transformation. Genetic transformation is transfer of gene, transfer of desirable gene in a particular host and their output we can see in the host organism regarding that collection of the X plant required and here X plants I have already used that was the plant leaf. Seedlings X plants already prepared by the inoculation of agrobacterium inoculum. My friends, in biotechnology, this bacteria name is mentioned. This bacterium name is mentioned that is agrobacterium rhizogenes. There are two types of agrobacterium strain. One is agrobacterium rhizogenes and another strain is agrobacterium tumefaciens. Tumefaciens agrobacterium strain having, it is naturally found in the soil, this bacteria. There is need to explore them and we can utilize this bacteria for the welfare of the mankind. Tumefaciens tumor inducing bacteria in the plant cell, even in animal, but maximum finding and research works in plant cell. Another bacteria that is agrobacterium rhizogenes. This agrobacterium rhizogenes already found in the surrounding of our soil. That's why when any plant shoot already cut from the parent plants and showing in the soil, then that bacteria infections already started and certain rooting phytohormones already induced in the plant and that is responsible for formation of the root and vegetative propagation is possible. This is one of the mechanism and this is natural genetic transformation. My friends, this property of the bacteria we can exploit and we can use genetically in biotechnology by the application of genetic engineering. So these are the different steps how we will prepare these strains and uh, in laminar air floor inoculations already takes place that I will show you in next slide transfer the infected seedlings to pots containing vermiculti and one chemical that is utilized cefotaxin whatever the X plant we have already collected that is clean with the running water after that 0.1% mercury chloride solution already utilized for the cleaning explants because lot of infection possibilities in that type of the explants and basically fungal infections because fungus in terms of experimental work they are criminals if you are doing the work in the laboratory and if you have already prepared the culture tube in hundreds of number might be five to seven tubes remain fresh and other most may be contaminated so there is need to washing from the 0 0.1 uh, mercury chloride percent mercury chloride concentration only for the one minute because when that mercury chlorides when we will use in more time then live cells become dead of the x plant after that cefotaxin this is one of the detergent that is already utilized for final 
cleaning of the explants after that inoculation of the explants takes place with the culture medium in which bacterial strain available now roles of gene i want to show role of gene in a positive way and negative way roles of gene in china very recently we have seen wuhan research lab virology covid 19 gene that is already released accidentally from that lab china wuhan bacteriology research lab gene rna inter at the world level and due to pandemic huge restriction and it is challenge for the world so negative way we can use just like the weapons and we can challenge existence by creating this type of the pandemic and this type of the restriction my friends india whenever whatever research work conducted in india however very less number of research work however in this time temperament of scientific already increases in our country and lot of research takes place in different fields in our country i have uh, presented here one example suppose ranchi university biotechnology and bacteriology research lab i have conducted experiment in that lab and this is the plant this plant in jharkhand called as lat jira apamarga in ayurveda and their scientific name is acaranthus aspera and this plant very important in a navagraha puja one plant this one is already utilized for peace of buddh graha one shloka brahma murari tripurant kari bhanu sashi bhumu udho sudhascha udush sukra krutunarsva sarve graha shanti karavantu that means nine sticks we are offering every day we are doing havan in the premises of dev organization we are offering a sticks havans for peace of different grahas and this wood sticks already utilized for offering wood grahas for their peace my strain bacterial strain agrobacterium rhizogens that is strain already collected from the bacterial lab bacteriology lab pune india and that culture is strain 1815 A Y 1815. This is the strain of the agro agro bacterium rhizogens that we have cultured in laboratory, and we have obtained this strain from the bacteriology department, bacteriology lab of the Pune. This is the cultural strain. When we will, whenever we will inoculate the bacterial strain in the MS media. then this type the strict of the bacteria already utilized and it is behaves like a bank and as per need we can utilize that type of the bacterial strain and we can mix to uh, in the explant for their infection this is the next step inoculation inside laminar air flow in the research lab biotechnology experiments only and only possible inside the lab in laminar air flow in laminar air flow there is uv tube ultraviolet radiation tube before doing work till half an hour we should switch on that uv tube for completely pathogens free environment i have already collected the explant of that plant's leaf and bacterial strain in another petri dish is already available and this is the inoculation process in which i have already transfer bacterial strain into the explant that is in cut form from the live plant now in this strain you will find this is the leaf explant in this explants one chemical more added 
in the culture medium and that is called as calcium chloride very important calcium chloride is already one of the chemicals this is added it makes permeability of the cell of the x plants to enter the genetic materials whatever i am going to transfer that means agrobacterium rhizogenes when already added in these leaves then side wise you will find it is in the cut form it is it is already injured so gene is already transfer and infection lesion already started after some time next step that is the culture lab in culture lab that infected x plant has been transfer and after transferring after 10 to 15 days you will find this type of the calcium appear calcium is one of the result of the tissue culture lab in tissue culture what is callus undifferentiated mass first of all already produces from the x plant now this calcium mass undergoes proliferation and after prolif proliferations it has been already in the position to produce the root fibers root hairs just like a cotton fiber you will see at the center of the culture explant next time leaf explants change into root hairs the result of genetic transformation what was my m agrobacterium rhizogenes have capacity to produce the root and artificially in the lab i have transferred this strain into the leaf of plant and due to this activity root inducing property that leaf biomass completely change into the root fiber now question arises why did you have done this experiment what is their importance my friends there are so many plants in our society you know ayur our ayurveda charak sanhita susrut sanhita rich in medicine and whole world looking towards it so many plants roots have been the medicinal value but when we are using medicine of that plant then there is need of uprootation of the plant and when we uproot the plant then there is chance of extinction of the plant my friends this type of the genetic transformation i have done in this plant then this container become full from the root biomass and this is only from the leaf we can collect leaf of the plant and we can utilize as an x plant in the laboratory and whatever the plants root medicinal value we can utilize in this way and we can send this root biomass sample of the plant root icarenthes spera sent to pharmaceutical lab for extraction of antioxidants alkaloids to manufacturing medicine for welfare of mankind my friends when we are doing this type of the research work then our works will be one of the work regarding the uh, will be become pioneer works in terms of conser conservation of the biodiversity and this is the application of biotechnology my friends i have told biotechnology bless and curse both one side one coin having two side one side is harmful one side is useful in india in present time lot of vaccination industries already established and we have supply vaccines to many developing country as well as developed country too this is one of the tools by the help of by the help of biotechnology we can 
came into the normal platform of the developed country. My friends, today's parameter of the development, if any country is developed, that means they are very rich in bioinformatics and biotechnology. If they are not rich in biotechnology and bioinformatics, then they cannot face the challenges that comes such type of the pandemics and such type of the food problems before the world. My friends, genetically transformed root hair ready for pharmaceutical lab on already sent in BIT Misra uh, biotechnology lab for further extractions of the medicines and these plants very very useful in diabetes and one of the pioneer work has been already started on this work for the contraceptives. Tribal peoples I have already harvested, I, I have already discussed tribal healers, they are at present even in this developed time of the medical and science technology, they are using different parts of the plants for the contraceptive plants. My friends, path of survival of human being, Indians culture and heritage always promote shaving and help to the world. And world having opportunity to looking towards India. My serious appeal from all teachers, whenever you are going in the classroom, you are biology teacher, you are making doctors, Next, but only 2 to 3 percent, whatever students we are teaching, eligible for that competition. Maximum students already away from this competition and they are searching different fields in the biology. Dear teachers, please glow in the classroom and promote research work because India needs and we can make number of the scientists from this field. It is a matter of happiness. One student, Dr. Utkarsh Gupta, doing work in America on human genome project. And time to time, he is discussing, one time will come, we are in the position to challenge the nature. Because which gene is responsible for life? Which gene is responsible for aging? We are in position to explore such type of the genes. Actually, this branch is very fast. And there is need to discuss it again and again. Last slide presenting before you. Let's apply genetic transformation and conserve biodiversity. Thank you. Now, this is time for discussion. 10 to 12 minutes I have already wasted. That's why, in brief, I have presented this paper. Yes, now. Thank you so much. I sir. welcome. I welcome. It's a beautiful presentation presented by you. And some, Thanks, sir. And some new fields you have shown to all of us. Your research work and other contributions you have already done in this field, sir. Uh, thanks for this. Actually, sir, this type of the work required, but with service 
this type of the work not possible but if candidate serving the jail several time in addition to service we have already attended national and international seminar with permission of the principal sir and arbo sir and sir is always promoting when you will go somewhere you will get something then you will share among the students otherwise there will be a gap always between the students as well as the teacher and the research work there are three dimensional triangular thing and there is need of coordination so we must uh, think for our professional development also yes 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 ma'am anybody else who would like to share yes. and thank you for this very interesting and your way of linking it with the spiritual world is also very interesting we must link our biology as a subject with the existence of god and spirituality which is always very important we always say that god is the biggest engineer no god yes, is the human body biggest machinery non comparable So they may try to make robots, but they are not able to do any machines about that. Trying, they are still trying, and God will give them back and they will be able to do it. So uh, it is very nice to know a little nice thing about this. As we were small students, you were telling us everything about this experiment, machine days, because it's uh, these are very simple and self-explanatory experiments for the teachers. But nice to cover it all with the board for everyone. We capitulate it and then went ahead. Applications also you do. It was very nice to see your presentation. And uh, we just have a couple of questions and always think beyond and read beyond. So whenever opportunity strikes, yes, I have some of my favorite books of the day. I always read them all whenever somebody. Like I have principles of genetics by Gardner and Simmons. This is one yes. of my Gardner's book on genetics. It has been one of my favorites since I was in this. So yes, I, I, I want to tell you, you know, that while I was in the BSc, I was not able to cultivate it because it used to be very expensive and not available. During my MSc, when I got the book grant. From the book grant, I was able to purchase. But in the university, a few chapters only were given. In BSc, most of the chapters were given because more of them were given in my days. But I loved it so much that I purchased it. That I should have a copy of that. So some of these books are very like the cell biology by the book should be for us. Actually, man, in the graduation, please take my book for the students. So yes, I think it's also should be some of the reference books as there and Siddhartha got me. Do you people remember? Yes. Siddhartha's book during graduation for a party that now is to refer excellent examples and I still love those books. Red color, this big a book. So those books are to be your lifelong companion as well by the teachers. And you may have uh, some others which I am not able to take you have the books. Yes, ma'am. So yes, ma which which quality of university and to which teachers refer to which books? So that becomes your uh, favorites. And I want to tell you that I am following the link, but uh, there should be some discussions. What I am watching is people are not interacting enough. So please do interact. Excuse me, ma'am. Your voice is not audible properly. Excuse me, ma'am. Your voice is not audible properly. Okay. बेंजामिन लेविन गुप्ता बुक 
when i used to teach students two things must be clear one actual reason for causing violence when we used to teach our students especially bacterial transformation which chemical makes the surface i mean makes the outer surface smooth we know that polysaccharide coating is there but which chemical is there actually this is polymer of glucuronic acid it's a polymer of glucuronic acid that makes the surface is staying smooth and make them virulent i think हमें ये शेयर करना चाहिए स्टूडेंट से मैं बोलता हूँ at present time lot of journals available online whatever the textbook that is already we are using from the beginning some books become completely outdated because in genetics and biotechnology as well as bioinformatics each and every day research work is going on and that books are not updated so whenever we are usually go through the online journals articles because today free of cost we having the net facility today so whenever half an hour one hour time every day we will give for updating ourselves then it will be very very quickly i will also suggest apart from that what to catch what is going on in your field that what should be and that is the teachers job the students should not go to the journals so it is the teachers job to catch what are the main things which are not in the exact textbook also or any other reference books also basically it is remain the same but certain new things keep coming which you should update for your class and one more thing i can suggest teachers please do go to the english uh, papers question papers of neat And while you are teaching a topic, and for me, you should always have like I remember when I used to teach, children used to have a corner on the side where I always used to remember from evolution chapter last week that year year before previous medical exam, this exam, this was nowadays there is one exam. Earlier we used to have different exams for B H U. This was asked for A S. This was asked. So that is the way a biology teacher can refer to. So you, if you will go through the question papers and you will keep a record of which chapter what was asked, while reading you can mention it and then the children can make a note of that, and that becomes very good because a lot of the molecular biology and genetics things are uh, asked. The new ones are asked in the new exam and other medical exams. Yes. And yes. now we will have a CUET if they want to do graduation. So we have to really update, and uh, the latest should be new there. But this new uh, research said that uh, was also very important. That was not mentioned amongst us to the rough uh, codes, whatever. What is the actual protein which is present, which leads to violence? That also the 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 violence was definitely because of the DNA that was present. But it has to be mentioned what is there. What is the difference between the rough and the smooth strings? That's what you need to mention, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Thank you for yes. these valuable yes. words. And yes. dear friends, welcome. Please, discussion should be go ahead. Uh, good morning, ma'am, and good morning, sir. Uh, I must say that. Uh, the way you explained sir it was fabulous and uh, the very important thing sir i learned from you that instead of directing and uh, the students regarding just for the medical examination and medical preparation we should also motivate them towards the research field as well that they should opt this option also researches are going on uh, related to the biotechnology field bioinformatics this is a very important thing 
and uh, the one more thing i learned that uh, teachers themselves are like a transforming principle we can impart the positive attitude in the students this ability the teachers have thank you sir for uh, giving such uh, very informative session thank you so much thank you thank you sir the aparna ma you there are lot of research and in small things which you can do in the class like mitotic cell division even meiosis you can do you know how we used to do meiosis when we were in medicine or we used to use tax grasshoppers you know grasshopper testis can easily be a little bit of dissection of grasshopper and testis can be easily crushed and meiosis can be done in class you know and then you have drosophila a little bit of roots can be kept bananas like bananas and other fruits in a basket of uh, uh, fruits and then some small bottles can be kept there with other gel can be prepared by you for pouches are available now we are making these things is so easy and then i have seen in the biotechnology lab lot of uh, kits are available so when we used to be students so i used to be a molecular biology student we used to adjust the ph and everything now you get session with specific Each of the chemicals and all the kits are available. So the running the DNA and other those gel, uh, identifying drosophila, red eye and uh, uh, white eye drosophila can easily be identified and not in the water and uh, the mating can be seen on the walls of the bottle. You will see the eggs laid, and then you can show to the students that how many are red eye and. Explain uh, Mendel's experiment and all. Okay, Mendelian ratios can be explained using Drosophila, red eye, and not white eye. When you keep bananas in the open, the Drosophila flies come. So you can catch them. We did once or twice in our lab, biology lab, one year with old students. Nowadays, uh, these things are not happening. The sections have been stopped. But certain things, if you will do for the inquisitiveness of the students, I don't think many of them will come to stop us. Okay, so because it's not that mosquitoes are not big or frogs are not big. Sometimes you can do that. Nobody is going to stop. I think a small experiment done in the school uh, it will always be good. Okay, so what is the experiment? Onion root tip experiment. I think everybody should do. Okay, then you are not killing the grasshopper. You are only using the little bit of uh, concentration of chloroform to uh, make them uh, sleep for a while. Okay, so okay, so this was very nice and interesting. I have shared the children's thing. Please uh, fill that and do the assessment also, and then we break and we meet for the next session. What should be the time for the next session to start? What is the time we have? Yes, from nine twenty, ma'am. Who no, sir? It's from nine twenty. Who no, sir? Yes, David. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You say something. The very nice presentation, sir, and the way you connect with the, our heritage, it makes more interesting. It makes the topic very much interesting. And uh, it also raises the curiosity among the students, and it will connect with what we are having—the rich culture in biology already—and what we can do. And regarding especially the research work, and as Ma'am said, one of the thing that teachers can act as the transforming, act like the transforming principle. Very good thing. We can correlate everything, and as uh, some of the valuable things shared by Pragya Ma'am. that is that will definitely help and the presentation was uh, really nice uh, i enjoyed and I, again like the previous first session i have noted everything and i got certain good words also so very uh, too much of take away the take away was uh, regarding that we also need to develop ourselves in the professional uh, things like uh, we can also use our school lab for some experimental work and share some of our earnings in that to upgrade ourselves and we can explain that to the students of senior classes that research bioinformatics biotechnology 
these are also uh, this can provide a good platform because the students mostly they are thinking about only being a doctor but there are certain other things in which we can enrich in uh, biology also and uh, raise the curiosity and interest so more students can join because in the school while taking plus we find very less bio students so yes. we can uh, develop that certain things in the school also by actively participating we have to spend some more time we have to take out some time extra because this profession requires focus we have if you want to be, bring about a change we need to share our time also which you are, unfortunately some of us are not getting the time due to certain reasons but still then we must hope and try thank you sir for the nice presentation sir thank you thank and you sir thank you very much ma'am uh, i would like to add one more thing sir in what yes. ghosh has said if you allow that yes. this 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 uh, this profession requires one more thing and which is more evident from your presentation is that is upgradation of the teachers as well yes. that we also needs to be upgraded and updated regarding all the research works and all since ma'am also ragya ma'am also mentioned this it's not possible for the students to be updated with the journals and whatever the new inventions is being done so it's necessary for us actually it's very need of the hour right now to be updated regarding all the innovations which has been done so that we can uh, make them more and more uh, aware towards it and as sir said one more thing that the use of shlokas that you have done that there is certain it brings certain sense of belonging to the students which will uh, which will try to you know uh, which attracts them to pay attention to the student to the what, whatever is being taught and whatever so this sense of belonging is like uh, this is a very good uh, amalgamation of the the heritage and whatever the new technologies are there so it was very nice sir yes ma'am uh, one thing i want to tell you uh, in botany term utilize plant but uh, i have gone through in the research work their literal meaning and i have pre given presentation in the ranchi university before training, different scientists training, as well as professors i found training, training literal training. meaning of the plant even not mentioned in uh, properly in the oxford dictionary but in sanskrit we are getting padap the padap padap and padap what is self explanatory padai hasa pibanti jalam iti padapa जो पैर से जल पीता है तो लेद क्या है पैर का रूट है सो वेन वी विल इनकलकेट सच टाइप ऑफ द थिंग इन आवर डिस्कशन देन आई थिंक वेल एक्सेप्टेंस इन द बायोलॉजी बिकॉज बॉटनी इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट पार्ट फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स आर नॉट टेकिंग इंटरेस्ट इन बॉटनी बट बॉटनी इज फुल ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एवन बायोलॉजी we are going in the class then only one motto the students biology is nothing it is entertainment entertainment nothing very else rightly, sir. Very, very rightly very rightly said sir we can make it more interesting by uh, our pandesh right. please go through the question number 3 question number 3 it is written that transduction means transfer of genes from bacteria to cell transfer of genes from virus to cell transfer of protein from bacteria to cell transfer of protein from virus to cell we know that in transduction process phage particles or bacteriophage picks up genetic material from one bacterium and transfer the same to another bacterium on infection it means this is the process of transfer of genetic material from one bacterium to another bacterium through bacteriophage or viruses yes i think jo option hai hamare paas wo option mujhe nahi lagta ki complete hai kuch do mere anusar ye incomplete lag raha hai aap aap kya karte hain sir mere paas abhi likha hua to mane hi hai main main dekh pa raha hu is ko transfer of genes from bacteria to cell it's incomplete transfer of to cell no Tran transfer of genes from virus to cell incomplete transfer of protein from bacteria to cell incomplete transfer of protein from virus to cell actually in transduction there is transfer of genetic material 
from one bacterium to another bacterium through bacterial phage or bacterial path we yes. know that our particle picks up genetic material from one bacterium and transfer the same on to the another bacterium on infection sir so in this according to yes. me there should be transfer of gene from one bacterium to another bacterium through virus or bacteriophage sir so i think so one bacterial cell to another bacterial cell through virus or bacteriophage ha this is not given virus or bacteriophage that's why i told you so what about the nearby options that will be correct answer hmm. no actually options are not right correct so, options are wrong so virus to cell will be correct answer sir pradya ma'am please highlight on question number 3 Yes, yes, bacterial cell, bacterial cell. I think the so one bacterial cell to another bacterial cell. Yes, so yes, ma'am. So that way it becomes a little bit incomplete. So I was also thinking, why are you writing only uh, like uh, only cell? Because transduction means from one bacteria transduction is in reference to the bacterial cells to the viral part. So that's yes. why you are looking for pathogens, right? Because they take over viruses. So don't uh, don't mention it as cell. Uh, this uh, question becomes important. Okay. Hmm. Bacteria from the to genes from bacteria to cell to human. So when the questions are formed, now, yesterday I noticed some of the questions were taken straight up from Google. The first page of Google, you know, I always check it when somebody makes a question paper. People who uh, pick up from Google don't even go to second page and the eighth page or seventh page. They pick up from the first page of Google. That is how to catch. So when you make questions, be a little creative with the topic. Okay. Uh, so rest of the questions that we are supposed to and the nine twenty minute. If there is any more discussion, we can have. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that nice session. You always take us to Vedas, to Gita, and that I love the most because ultimately we have a rich heritage, we have a rich culture, which need to be emphasized along with whatever teaching learning process is going on. Very nice presentation, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Once again, ha. Uh, once again, we understood. Uh, the transforming principle who started it who gave ultimately the conclusive evidence that yes this is the transforming principle it was all very clear with the slides very nicely spoken and what pragya ma'am is saying is equally very important that we have to now emphasize on many other fields also like you nicely said research work is such a wonderful field and so many things going on because of the corona virus time now Yeah. and a lot of work is still left uh, i think we don't know even a drop in the big ocean so a lot of work is still left we have a long way to go as mankind once again sir thank you thank you ma'am yes i got uh, information sir is going to conduct one meeting at 9 o'clock so i have to go attend the meeting and when next session will start alok sir at 9:20 sir 9:20 9:20 yes so we can oh, i think we can with the permission of pragya madam yes sir this first and uh, people will have the request yes ma'am thank you everyone thank you ma'am
थैंक यू